We've tried using the main program as a way of testing our donation box class. It turns out that Java has a better way of doing it. First thing to do is select the class that you want to test. So I've selected donation box. And now we're going to go up and we're going to make something different. We're going to, instead of saying a new class, we're going to make a new JUnit test case. The default here is to select the JUnit 4, which is the kind that we want. And notice that since we clicked on Donation Box, it's going to make a new class for us called Donation Box Test. And pretty much leave this dialog as is. One good option is to include this setup method, uh, but we're not actually going to use it for a start. And then we'll click Finish. It turns out that this requires another set of libraries, and so this dialog is just saying, do you want to put the libraries into our project also? And we'll say OK. And notice at that point you get a JUnit 4 set of libraries, and some source code has been created for you. Now, see this thing that's labeled at test? This is where our test is going to go. So let's change the name of our test for a second here. Let's go back and look at donation box and ask the question, what's the first thing that you would like to, s like to know about if you turn around and create a new donation box? There's a couple of things that can happen here. My expectation is that if I create a new donation box and give it a label of Salvation Army, that if I ask it, what label do you have? It should say Salvation Army. And if I ask the Sally Ann object, how much money do you have? It should say zero. So in other words, just even doing this line means that we think that this thing should be created in a certain way. So let's write a test that checks to see whether or not creation works OK for the donation box. I'm going to get rid of this template line. First thing we have to do, just like we did in the driver, is make one of these things. So we'll borrow this line that we used to make it, and we'll stick it inside this thing with the at test. Now's the point where we can turn around and ask our questions. What I'll do is I'll go and I'll say Sally Ann dot get charity name to retrieve the charity name. And I'll put the reply that it gives me into a string. And while I'm at it, I'll also fetch the get total donations in pennies. And I'll put that into an integer. So I've retrieved the values that were set. Now my expectation is that donations so far should be zero. So the way you write that as a test is you say assert true, which you can really translate as I think that donations so far should be exactly zero. And we'll eventually see what this thing does. The other thing we want to test is the name. I'll write that test up above. This one's a little trickier. I think that the name should be equal to Salvation Army. That's the appropriate quote. You can't use double equals here, which is what you'd like to use, because double equals mean something else. This says compare the string that's in the name variable against this string and make sure that they match character by character. And that's our test. You can click the Run button to run the test. And when we run the test, notice that there's the test name. And we get a green bar indicating that both of those things worked. Just for fun to show you what will happen if it doesn't work, suppose that in donation box we'd accidentally miskeyed and set this thing to 10. And now we've got a little bit of an error in our program. So we'll turn around this time and we'll run donation box. And notice that now it says there's an error. 
you get a red bar and if you double click here it will tell you there's the test that failed it was the second test that failed and the reason that this whole test failed was because donation so far wasn't equal to zero so at that point we can go back in this case and correct our error oops that should have been zero save it run the test again and now if we take a look at the test there's the creation test has succeeded 